is Barack Obama? Do you know who the 44th president of the United States is? Here is a hint. He is the only president who was born in Hawaii. Need another? He was also the first African-American to be elected as president of the United States. Who is it? That's right. It is Barack Obama. And today, we are going to learn more about him. Barack Hussein Obama II was born on August 4th, 1961 in Honolulu, Hawaii. Obama's parents, Ann Durham and Barack Obama Sr., separated when he was just two years old, and he spent the early years of his childhood in Jakarta, Indonesia, with his mother and stepfather. By the time Obama was 10 years old, he was back in Hawaii, living with his maternal grandparents. When he was young, Obama went by the nickname Barry. And as a teenager, Barack Obama worked at a Baskin Robbins ice cream store. But today does not even eat ice cream. In high school, Obama excelled at both basketball and academics and graduated with honors from Punahou Academy in 1979. From there, Obama attended Occidental College for two years and then transferred to Columbia University, graduating in 1983 with a degree in political science. In 1985, Obama moved to Chicago and worked with low-income residents and as a community organizer. He then spent some time in Kenya and met many of his paternal relatives during the trip. In 1988, Obama began a law school at Harvard. That same year, he also met his future wife, Michelle Robinson. In 1990, Barack Obama was elected as the first African-American editor of the Harvard Law Review. He graduated Harvard Law School in 1991. After law school, Obama moved back to Chicago and started working as a civil rights lawyer and a part-time professor at the University of Chicago Law School. On October 3rd of that year, Barack and Michelle Robinson were married and later had two daughters, Malia and Sasha. Let's talk about his political life and historic election. Barack Obama was and is a member of the Democratic Party. In 1996, Obama ran for office in the Illinois State Senate and won, working with both Democrats and Republicans to draft legislation that addressed social issues like expanding health care. After losing a primary election for the U.S. House of Representatives in 2000, Obama decided to raise money to run for a U.S. Senate seat. In 2004, during this time, he was a vocal critic of the decision to begin the Iraq War. Obama beat a former presidential candidate and won that election, becoming only the fifth African-American to serve in the U.S. Senate and only the third to be elected to the office. In February of 2007, Obama announced his candidacy for the Democratic presidential nomination and ran a campaign with themes of hope and change, with goals to reform the health care system, increase energy independence, and end the Iraq War. On November 4, 2008, he defeated Republican candidate John McCain to become the 44th president of the United States. His vice president was Joe Biden, who would later become the 46th president. He won the presidential election again in 2012, defeating Republican candidate Mitt Romney. This means that President Obama served two terms as president for a total of eight years in office. Obama and his administration were able to accomplish some super important things. Some of these accomplishments include the following. Passing the 
Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, which was designed to close the pay gap between men and women, appointing two Supreme Court justices, Justice Sonia Sotomayor and Justice Elena Kagan. He was also the first sitting president to visit Cuba. Plus, lots and lots more. Now that we have learned more about Barack Obama, let's review. True or false? Barack Obama only served one term as president. False. President Obama served for two terms, or eight years. True or false? Barack Obama is a Democrat. True. What was President Obama's nickname when he was younger? Barry. Great job, friends. President Barack Obama has left a lasting legacy and continues to do important work to this day. Maybe someday you will be president, just like Barack Obama, and help advocate for all people, regardless of race, religion, or political party. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.